Mm. Mm. This takes the water very, very well in my opinion. So that is uh, five drops of water or so. Has made the um, dried fruit quite juicy. So as you're swirling around in your mouth, you're salivating at the same time. Um, more dry fruit characters, as I said, apricots and um, peach, vanilla, a bit of salt. You still get that spiciness um, that leads on to the finish. Well, good evening, everybody, and welcome to my channel, Whiskey Journey. Tonight, I'm going to be uh, looking at and reviewing another rum for you guys. So we're going to be looking at this bottle here from the Thompson Brothers. Um, this comes from the uh, Trinidad Limited Distillery. Um, limited edition of 302 bottles, and it spent um, 11 years in the tropics, and the rest of the time um, in the UK. So it's a 13-year-old, so a generous amount of time spent in the tropic tropics, um, bottled at 60.5% in a refill barrel. The bottle on my left here is um, from the Golden Cost series, bottled by House of Macduff. Uh, this is a Money Musk 22-year-old, um, and this will be my next review. Okay, so um, really um, looking forward to trying this one. Um, as you can see, I don't really have that much left. Um, I have found that um, the bottle has gotten better as time has gone on. Um, so in my opinion, this um, and this bottle does require some aeration, some time um, just sitting in the bottle um, f uh, to achieve the best results, in my opinion. So we'll just get straight on to the tasting notes, shall we? And we'll just do a nosing first. So that is a very sweet, inviting, rich nose. So I'm getting um, dried fruits. It's almost like a, a pastry element to this, sweet pastry, almost bready. A little bit of alcohol, alcohol sting on the nose. This is 60.5% ABV. Some caramel. There's a hint of soil uh, or earth um, lingering in the background as well. Apricots. And there's some wood tannins there as so well. Definitely some oak I'm picking up in the, in the background there as well. But primarily, in my opinion, it's very sweet, very rich and decadent with loads of dried fruits. A bit of vanilla there too as well. Right, so let's just get onto the palette and see what we get. Mm. Mm. That's just lovely. So, initially on the palate, oily arrival, mouth coating, vanilla, those dried fruits that I picked up on the nose, the apricots. Mm. 
there's also this um, almost like smoky element to it as well, almost like um, barbecue meat, um, almost like bacon. Yeah, definitely on the palate. In the finish, you're getting more vanilla, some oak, some wood tannins. I would say there's even some cherry as well. Slightly salty. Finish is starting to diminish a little bit now, so I would suggest that this is more a medium finish. Mm. But yeah, it's just a just a lovely rum to sip on. Um, the alcohol will get a bit of spice as well. Um, and um, the alcohol feels quite well integrated. Um, although it's spicy, it's not that alcohol sort of spiciness that you can get. It's more spiciness from the wood, which is, is just lovely. A bit of pepper. Mm. That's nice. Very, very, very good. Um, we're going to add a few drops of water and see if that changes anything at all. So I'm going to add a, a few. Let's see how many I can... Three, four, that's five drops of water. As I said, I think because it's high strength, you can get away with adding that amount of water. I mean, that's not a lot, um, but um, yeah, let's just see what we get on the nose now. It'll be interesting to see if there's any changes at all. Yeah, so water seemed to bring out a bit more vanilla. Still getting the, the, the dried fruit character, apricots, peach. Yeah. Has brought out a bit more of the wood. There's also this herbal character as well that I'm getting. I can't really put my finger on it, guys, um, and explain exactly what... Um, what this herbal character is, but it's definitely definitely has a herbal character on the nose with water. The pastry elements are still there, so almost like Danish pastries. It's still very rich and inviting. And there's a touch of soil and earth. I personally do think that um, um, some water does benefit this on the nose. Mm, that rich sort of soil earthy element is just divine on this one as well. A little bit of nail varnish there too. Yeah, still stunning nose, really stunning. Right, so let's just get onto the palette uh, with water and see what we get. Mm. Mm. This takes the water very, very well, in my opinion. So that there's uh, five drops of water or so has made the um, dried fruit quite juicy. So as you're swirling around in your mouth, you're salivating at the same time. Um, more dried fruit characters. As I said, apricots and um, peach, vanilla, a bit of salt. You still get that spiciness um, that leads on to the finish. 
but it's not as spicy as when you first, you know, without the water, it's less spicy now. So the, the water has tamed down that spice a little bit, which in my opinion is not a bad thing because it's allowing all the other notes to shine. Finish is a little bit drying and get a little bit of uh, wood tannins and oak, as I said already. A bit of chili, a bit of chili as well. That spice still remains. But the finish has been extended, in my opinion, just with that, that additional water. So on the palette just now, I'm just getting that wood and vanilla, and even the dried fruits as well, just popping on the mouth, and popping on the palette as the finish just goes on. So um, in my opinion, um, water is, is mandatory for this release, in my opinion, um, for the nose and the palette and the finish as well. A bit of caramel as well coming out. It's quite a, it, it's it's quite sweet, but it's not. Um, you get the sweetness from the apricots and the dried fruits and and that, but um, it's all very well balanced. It's not overly sweet. I'm I'm not a huge huge fan of overly sweet um, spirits, and um, this one kind of treads that line very carefully and. Um, yeah, I can't believe how nice that night, well, it was nice before the water, but I can't believe how much the, the water, the addition of five drops of water has opened this up quite nicely. And I'm not gonna have a third sip, but yeah, the nose is just better with water. It's just as intense, but allows the, um, just opens up the spirit a wee bit. It's just lovely, guys. Highly, highly enjoyable. Unfortunately, I don't know where you can get this. Um, it's only, it, was, it was only 302 bottles, and I believe it was released last year. So um, retailers, you struggle to get a bottle of this. Um, so you probably your best bet is probably to go into the secondary market. I think retail for this was, I think it was about £70, there and thereabouts. Um, I think that's highly worth it. If you can get it for that sort of price, I mean, 11 years of tropical aging, okay, the rest of the time in the UK, but um, as I said, it's, in my opinion, water will be mandatory for this one. And um, a time in the bottle does wonders for this. This has been, I've, been, I've, had, I've had this bottle for nearly a year now, I think, and um, it's got better and better and better as the full level has gone down. Okay. Okay, guys, so that's my review of the Thompson Brothers um, Trinidad and limited distillery, uh, 13 year old, bottle at 60.5%. And as I said, my next review will be this uh, lovely uh, Money Musk, 22 year old. It's the oldest rum that I've tried so far. And I really look forward to sharing this, uh, um, the review with you guys. Okay guys, so thanks for watching. If you enjoy my content, then please like, comment and subscribe to the channel. It is always appreciated. But otherwise, there's nothing much else to say except have a fantastic day. I'll see you all again soon. Take care, guys. Cheers.